All right, guys, welcome back to Minecraft Safe Tech Ages, episode 19. And I believe it's uh, episode 5 of the Between Lands. We are at the sludge zone on floor 4, level 4. What is this? Ah, the annoying guys. Uh, I wanted to go back home to get some armor, but yeah. I'm not sure if it's worth it guys. Let's let's try to do this without going back home. So we're on level four and level four has a chance to I think one of the doors of the dungeon doors when you open it you get some um, you get a chance to open a fake door and a mini boss spawns. Let's see, guys. I'm going to cut because I am guess you're bored by all this. Alright, so just a second after the cut, we found what I was referring to. It's called a dungeon door mimic. And once I open this, hold on a sec, let me pull up. The screenshot I just made. Right. So when you get this right, the door opens, but you don't get to go on the next level. Instead, the boss spawns. Let's see. Nope, that's not correct. There you go. And this is... Nope. 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 Oh! Oh shit. All right, guys. So here's the boss. I think he's called Barishi. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can kill him or her or it without getting killed. Oh no. This is scary. This is scary. Can I bow him? I guess using the bow is a good idea. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, and the turrets. Run away, run away. And the annoying guys. So these turrets, you need to hit them in the eye. Otherwise, they don't take any damage. Oh, this guy is low. Wait, can we cheese it? We like cheese, guys. We like cheese. Where's our food? We don't have any food. Do we have any food? Do we have any food? We don't. Panic mode. Panic mode. Come on. Is this the annoying guy? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If we if we die, we die because of this guy. Come on, annoying guy. Come on, annoying guy. Okay. I should have checked for food before the boss fight. Nice. We got some food. And we cheesed him like this. I think we can, guys. Guy, go away. We're in the middle of the boss fight. Oh yeah, he died. Come on. Noise, guys. This was easier than expected. And here's the turret. It's called Sludge Jet Turret. You need to hit it in the eye. Otherwise, it doesn't die. This guy is super annoying. This guy is super annoying. Not this guy, but this guy, the flying guy. Please die. Please die. Anyways, let's keep on going. Guys, so after killing the boss, this mini boss, it's not a boss, it's a mini boss. You get one ro rune door key. Uh, it, it opens a dungeon door, but it is recommended that you use it on the door on the seventh layer. Why? Because it has moving walls that can crash you in one hit. So, let me take a breath. Let me eat some sap. No monsters around. This is very bad, but hopefully we find some armor next. Okay, let me empty some stuff. All I can. Because the next thing is the reward of the boss. Wait, I need that. Uh, let's put the kite. 
the amount of paper we don't need. Right guys, so these are the rewards for the body sheen. First, an ancient great axe. Battle axe. Guys, this thing is amazing. It has one attack speed, but you'll check it out later. Let's kill this guy real quick. Boom. Oops, the lag. Let's see what we got. For killing the boss, we also get got one life crystal, a hundred percent. I'm not sure if you get different percentages, but yeah, it's very useful. I'll show you why later when we're back at base. Let's see the next rewards we got. Oh my god. Right, another thing you get from this boss is a ring of gathering. I believe it uh, allows you to bring back dead minions, like animals, maybe a wolf that died in battle, etc. Uh, I don't find it very useful for myself, but maybe you find a use for it. Where did this come from? I don't know. What else? As this plant can only flourish in aspect that aspect infused mist. I'm not sure what that is. All right, let's pick all those up. Those are, are all nice items to have. Ooh. All right, guys. Angler tooth. Let's get rid of the chest. Pick that up. All right, guys. Um, so this is um, the fourth level. I will continue going down and uh, hopefully I don't die out of food and sap. It would be a nice idea to go back and get some sap and some food, but guys, it's almost impossible. So let's pray. I'll see you back when something important happens. Hi right, guys, we found another chest. Let's see. A sludge slicer? Hmm. I think that's a weapon used to kill sludges in one hit. Yep, that's definitely it. So basically that's another artifact, which is very nice, very nice. All right, guys, another chest. Hmm. Nothing special, to be honest. All right, guys, we found the door to the fifth floor. Let's get this open and let's see what the fifth floor has to offer. Oops. Wait, give me a sec. Noise. Let's see. I think this floor has some... Um, do I have any shears? Yes, I do. I believe... There are some uh, shrooms, yeah, those things that can be killed using shears only. What do they drop? I wish I had more more space. I wish I had... Do we need the legendary disc? We definitely don't need a book. Bone Wayfinder? Maybe, maybe. So, pushroom tendril. Yeah, those are called pushrooms. Hold on a sec, let me screenshot that. Done. And let's continue. And we test the axe, left or right? Let's go right. Uh, this explore. Go so kill. Oh, and this. I I didn't have time to check their name. Basically, yeah, living roots. Watch out, guys. They hurt. Another chest. Oh, no. Yep, this axe breaks stuff. Let's see what we got. We got a Whitwood bow. We don't need it. We got the donut, a marshmallow, another one, a red rope. We don't need Sirmuret ingots, red donuts. Oops, a root. We need to kill it. Can we eat? No, we can't. What else did we get? Oops. A chest we don't need. Okay, so no artifacts, I believe. Why is this not coming in? I don't know. All right, guys, I'll see you back when something important happened. All right, guys, nothing important happened besides a lot of roots attacking us and breaking our armor. So now I'm down to a chest plate and some boots. 
hopefully this will be enough to at least get us to the next thing we're going down into the sixth layer and this is where we can find the crypt walker tunnels let's see if we get Ooh! oh my god i almost pooped myself um let's see oops i need to screenshot that let's see if we can find some before i cut i think i see one there you go that's a crypt walker oh my god those things are scary all right guys so basically they are rat people and uh yeah there's uh walking variants uh mm, they can hold weapons so uh and basically we need to get into their home and get some armor so i'll see you there oh my god oh my god i'll see you there guys i'll see you when i get there guys if i die i die i died all right guys i'm back and to be honest uh, i i i i i i turned down the difficulty to peaceful because i didn't have enough time to go through the whole five levels to my grave so also i brought uh, two sets of armor and another backpack with some oak storage let's uh, let's put everything in our oak storages oh guys i forgot to bro to break food all right guys i did some organization apparently we had 45 donuts which is good let's see so here's another creep crawler he's uh armored up where's my shield i made the shield so this is good oops where's my shears let's use the shears to get this guy off and this these things fall on your head so you better avoid them this guy's hurt all right we found the way down but oops but we want to find this guy's lair the creep tunnels it's definitely a must guys because within those tunnels you get the ancient armor which is uh, I don't think you can survive the boss without it let's see what else we got here nothing special all right guys I'll I'll look for the creep tunnels and I'll be back guys apparently there is uh, two two doors two dungeon doors and one leads to the crypt tunnels let's see if it's this one um nope that's the the one going down we don't want that yet so i found the other one guys but i'm almost dead again options peaceful <gasps> Oof, i didn't want to go through this again guys <laughs> all right guys <laughs> panic mode how do we get there do we go up or down I believe we need to go up, but but how? Well, this is weird. Let's get some of these. Maybe they can help us. Yep. Very nice. Back to easy.
This is scary, guys. Thank God I'm not claustrophobic. That would have been a nightmare. I see more guys there. Can we use the bow? Oh no. Wait, what? Oh yeah, you like that? These guys are tough. These guys are tough. And that's one guy. Can you imagine fighting three like before? Ooh. Let's see. I think we're getting closer, guys. Yep, these are spawners. You gotta hit those. Unless you wanna be swarmed by those things. You gotta hit the vines to close the spawner. As fast as you can! Because more and more of those things will spawn. Guys, this is scary. This is scary. Can I hit it with a bow? No, I can't. And this guy is scary. Not this guy. This guy is not scary. This guy with the shield. Now, you see? The more I wait, the more... The more guys spawn. This guy with the shield is annoying. He's blocking my attacks. I can block too. Maybe I can't. This guy is tough. This guy is very tough. Oh no. At least I don't want to die again. No! Oh guys, I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't made for dungeons. I just don't want to die again. Let's make this easy. I'll see you back at the armor, guys. Alright guys, just after this spawner last one that I put I didn't have the balls to do it you find the crypts the crypt actually and there's your reward get rid of that the ancient great sword this is amazing guys and then there's also a secret doorway somewhere let's see if we can find it there you go now I think that leads to the outside is there another one yep there you go check this out guys check this out this is amazing news guys amazing news why can I there you go wait what Valonite hmm it was supposed to be ancient armor. Anyways, guys, that that's okay as well, I guess. Let's put our armor ba back into the backpack. I'm not sure what happened with my... Where's my backpack? Did I place it? Yeah, I did. Placed it on the thing. What is this? Shield? Hey, I want the shield back. Can I... Please? Can I get the shield? Hello? There you go. Let's see if there's more. Maybe there's one more here. Nope. Well, I guess that's okay too. But I want the ancient armor. Anyways, guys, and this secret door uh, leads uh, to the exit. So I'll see you back at the door to the next floor. Alright, so we're at the second dungeon door leading to the seventh layer. And this layer has moving walls and Pushrooms, path rooms, I don't remember which you kill with the shears. But the the moving walls hurt a lot, guys. So be careful. Oops. Screenshot that. Uh, boom. 
Actually, if you kept the key, the rune door key, as per my advice. Oh no, this hurt. This hurt your helmet. Uh, if you kept the key, you just open the door with your key. Oh my god, this is scary, guys. If you get crushed by the walls, by the moving walls, that's basically it. Let's go this way. Oops. No, get up. Go away. But I think that's all it there is. Uh, moving walls and uh, the shrooms. That's all there is. So... Yeah, if you're not, uh, if you have bigger balls than me, that's okay. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Where do I go, guys? You see another entrance? It's definitely a dead end. Let's see, let's see. All right, behind the moving wall. Maybe this way. I guess it is this way. Let's wait for this thing to come back. And also you need to collect some mist or fog. Yeah, you need to collect some fog. Right, we passed the moving wall. I haven't found any fog yet. Those things are, are scary. And also my nutrition is very bad. That's all we need to go. These guys are just annoying. Yeah, we need to go. Oops. That is scary, guys. This is scary. Everything is falling. Everything is trying to kill us. Boom. We passed this. Is there anything behind the door? The moving wall, I mean. Uh, just some urns of chance. We don't need that. Ah, I wanted to go behind the wall. In front of the wall, I mean. I'm guessing going after it there is no point because there will be no exit. But we'll see. Oh, there is an exit. Nice. And the dungeon door. I mean, not the dungeon door, but there is a moving wall. Open this. Because this wall, or one of the walls, will move and it will crush you. Anyways, this is the best option, guys. Just use the rune key. Alright, guys. And we're... We're at the seventh layer. Let's see what we have. Do we have the sludge? The sludge slicer? Nope. It's one. It's in one. What? I had five boxes. That's a shame, guys. I guess I lost one. I guess I lost one. Well, hopefully I didn't lose one that has all the good stuff. Let's see. Let's see what we have. That That's all I needed, guys. That's all I needed. The swift pick. Everything else doesn't really matter. Okay, Sludge Slicer. We'll keep that. Critter Cruncher. I'm not sure if we need it. But we'll see. Pick those up. And backing ourselves with everything and donuts sap you'll need i think you'll need everything donuts i said let's see let's test this yep one hit kill this is the pit of decay decay so what you gotta do guys is shoot those things while everything is trying to kill you shoot those things in the middle protected by the shields until this thing reaches the bottom this thing the mechanism or whatever you want to call it it reaches the floor and it basically the hole is uh, i don't know it's broken let's see if we can shoot them from here see the shields what is going on the shields are protecting it yeah that's the oh my god that's a lot of things what is this? A root grabber. What is going on, guys? What? What is going on? Can we eat? Yes, we can. I think these things spawn again. It's 
so there is no point of killing them but as you can see and later on once the boss spawns you will have all these minions attacking as well as the boss um let's see can i put down everything let's see i think that's the best way to do it put down a crate maybe maybe an empty one let's see if i can find one let's see if i can find one nope guess it will be the last one nope this is fine and we just put everything we don't need including our backpack all of sap we need we need food we need all these and just put the crates the other two crates oh you can't well they can stay here all right let's see how can we do this how can we do this i guess we need to go down guys oh stop it what is this There's so many things going on, guys. So many things trying to kill us. Everything in this dungeon is just trying to kill us. Check. Oh, those are traps on the walls, guys. Traps on the walls. So you want to keep away from the walls. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna make it, guys. This is this seems impossible, even with the best armor. And God, we have the sludge slicer, really helpful. But yeah, there's just too many things, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm turning it down to peaceful. Um, I'm not a professional, so let's do this this way. Let's uh, spawn the boss. The easy way. Oh, so every time you shoot an arrow, this thing, um, uh, the laser, disappears. And the thing goes down a level. And there you go. There you go, guys. So this thing falls down. It blocks the entrance. And then you have the boss spawning. Sludge worm, please go away. Please go away. So, basically, you have to keep running around. Killing all the critters and all the small things that spawn. And also kill this huge thing. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Large menace. Basically, it's a big worm. Let's see if we can do this, guys. Honestly, it seems impossible, guys. It seems very difficult. Hitting it with an ancient great sword, which is uh, an artifact sword in this mode, deals nothing, and it's also sucking its health back. Come on. This is... This is not possible. How do we do it? Can we do it with this? Can we do it with poison arrows? And it spawns a lot of mobs. And leeches. Oh my god. Hold on a sec, guys. How can we do it? How can we do it? And worms. This is just amazing. This is just amazing. Thank God we can eat. Go away. Oh my God. Look how many there are. 
This seems impossible, guys. This seems impossible. Oh my god, there's just too many. There's just too many. Guys, I'm sorry, but this is impossible. I'm not sure how to do it, and I definitely don't have enough time to uh, to work this around. So we're going to cheese it. Possible. It it even seems tedious to kill it without without cheats with the cheats. I mean, oh, this was impossible, guys. This was impo. Oh, oh my God! Did you see that, guys? I almost died. Thank God I'm quick. Holy moly! How do you even survive that? Did you see that, guys? Did you see that? I almost died again. That is... It's too much, guys. Look at all those monsters. Look at them. How many are there? Too many. Maybe I'm, I'm missing something. Maybe I need better armor. I don't know, but this seems to be the best armor. Right, what is Epic Shader Grabbar? Alright, from the boss you get a Ring of Dispersion which grants you the ability to move through walls at the cost of experience as well as an amulet slot. I think it allows you to use 3 or 4 or 5 amulets instead of 1 which is amazing. Alright guys, I'm sorry that I cheesed it but... Yeah, it would be impossible. I would have to give it 10,000 tries and still not do it. But at least you got to see how this boss dies. <laughs> Maybe somebody has it uh, on survival mode on a video. But that's definitely not going to be me. Which achievement was that? Obtain all the rings, definitely not that. Okay, seal the pit of Deccan and defeat the Sludge Menace. This is the one. Then defeat the Promodion of Malevolence. Hmm. We'll see, guys. We'll see if we do any more in the between lands. How do we get out? I guess uh, this is something I have to worry about in the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, yeah, I hope you're not angry at me for choosing it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Reminder, Seftech Ages it will be on Tuesday. Tomorrow is um, Stoneblock. Yeah, guys, have a good one.